The domestication of our Canis lupus familiaris, or modern dog, all began several 10,000 years ago with the domestication of the Canis lupus, or grey wolf. Evidence, both genetic and archaeological, proves that humans domesticated wolves at the latest 15,000 years ago. How exactly that domestication of the Canis lupus happened is still very unclear, but science has its theories on how it all started. Several of these theories include studies of mitochondrial DNA, which suggest that wolves and dogs split into different species about 100,000 years ago. Other researchers claim that that was between 20 and 40,000 years ago. Many researchers are not agreeing on the results of the different research. What we do know is that it took place in Europe. Belgium, to be precise. In the Goyac cave in Belgium, they found evidence of dogs living with humans about 36,000 years ago. In the United States, the earliest case of a dog burial was found in the Danger Cave in Utah about 11,000 years ago. Krishna Virema of Stony Brook University believed that the domestication began when orphaned wolf cubs and young wolves moved to the outskirts of hunter-gatherer camps to scavenge food leftovers. Promise of food and self-domestication and some experimental evidence. He said, and I quote, those wolves that were tamer and less aggressive would have been more successful at this. While the human did not initially gain any kind of benefit from this process, over time they would have developed some kind of symbiotic relationship with these animals and eventually evolving in the dogs we see today, he explained. What we do know is that the modern dog originated from the same DNA source, the Canis lupus or grey wolf. The rapid evolution of dogs from wolves is a great example of neoteny or fedomorphism. As seen in many other species, young wolves are far more social and less dominant than adult wolf. Therefore, it made great sense for the selection of these characteristics from the juvenile wolves. This pedomorphic selection resulted in the retention of juvenile physical and mental characteristics. If we compare many of the domestic adult dog breeds compared to wolves, many of these adult breeds return such juvenile characteristics. The interesting part about the domestication process and the development of the modern dog breeds is although genetically dogs are similar, we have a huge diversity in phenotype. That means that technically a Great Dane could breed with a Yorkshire Terrier. The important thing to learn from all of this is that we need to compare the behaviors of our dog today with that of young wolves, rather than that of the adult wolves. Doing so will give us a far better understanding on how dogs think and act and how we as humans should think and act. A process I call dehumanization and caninization for the human. We need to develop behaviors that are unnatural for us humans, but natural for our dogs, in such a way that we became natural or natural, which means that those unnatural canine behaviors become our second nature. In order to do so, let's have a closer look on how animals learn.